In this video, we're revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial for Amazon FBA, what it is and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More than that after the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. So sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to $160,000 in profit in as little as 90 days, so check it out now. So I remember when I first heard about Amazon FBA, I was like 2013, 2014, I was like this broke college student suddenly become a dentist. And I literally wanted to get into Amazon FBA because I just wanted to make money. I wanted more freedom. I didn't want to worry about like the stress of paying for the bills or working a nine to five job or being stressed at you know a job that I hated. And I heard about Amazon FBA and I was like, oh my God, what is it? How can I get started? Um, why is this so amazing? And my mind just like was insanely blown up. To the point where we literally got started with the Amazon FBA and we got it to the point where we were clearing about $100 a day profit and even like $700 to sometimes $1,000 in a day in revenue as a complete beginner. But of course, it was in sunshines and daisies. There was like up days and there was down days and there was even hard days and there was even days where I didn't understand it because I had the wrong expectations. And I wish, I wish I had a video like this to literally snap me into sense to understand that there are some things that I have to worry about, especially as a beginner, if I do not want to waste a lot of time and money. And the first step is just understanding, well, what is the opportunity with Amazon? Why are people really so excited? Well, if you really think about it, you know, when you first get started in a business, you got to do a lot of things. Like for example, I was supposed to be a dentist, right? So I would literally have to go and invest $500,000 to open up my practice, get all the things. And then once I do that, guess what I have to do? I would have to figure out marketing. Like how can I get more people into my dental practice? With Amazon, you don't have to deal with that because there are already 2.67 billion people that go on Amazon.com every single month. So all of the marketing is already inbuilt, right? Like you can literally throw up something and you can see if I type in grill mat, see all these things that pop up, these are what people are searching for. So when people type in like, for example, grill mats for outdoor grill and they buy this, there is someone just like you on some part of the world that is making money with Amazon doing all the hard work. Right, like Amazon ships it, Amazon does a customer service. If there's a return, they deal with that. So you can see why it's like very beneficial. You're like, oh my God, like this is the, the dream that I got into because I was like, I could literally make passive income online. I could partner with Amazon. I don't have to do any marketing. And literally Amazon will do all the hard work for me. And the moment I understood that, I really got extremely, extremely excited, right? But like I said, I did a lot of things wrong. So I wanna make sure that you guys don't do that wrong thing that I did. So the first thing you gotta understand when you're getting started is what products can I go ahead and sell? What products can I go ahead and sell, right? What products that I could go ahead and sell where I will not lose my own money, right? Because you gotta think about this, right? Like the, the cons, and no one talks about like the cons, right? The cons about Amazon FBA is like, if you are wrong, if you are wrong, you will lose money. That just quite, quite frankly, that's the day. I remember I wanted to sell dog leashes, right? I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna sell dog leashes. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna make millions of dollars of dog leashes. I spent several thousands of dollars on dog leashes from China. I shipped them over to Amazon, hoping and praying that I was gonna get successful. Guess what? I did not become successful. I lost a bunch of money. Why? Because I did not take this step that I'm about to share with you seriously, and that is the product research phase. Now, when you first get started, remember 90% of the battle is what product that you pick. Because when you get started with Amazon, there's literally so many opportunities that you can sell dog leashes, you can sell, like for example, um, Donald Trump toilet paper. It's ridiculous what you could actually go ahead and sell. There's so many different things. And the worst thing that you could do is try to sell on Amazon without knowing exactly if you could actually make money in something or not. Right, so these are there, there are multiple different ways that I went and started selling on Amazon that you know that are more like risk friendly, right? The first step that I like doing is if you literally go on Google and type in, for example, best like if you literally go on Google and type in best seller Amazon, you can literally go ahead and click on this right here. You will literally see all of the best sellers that are updated hourly on Amazon.com. So what do you mean? This is literally making the most sales right now. You know, this mask disposable for kids. Right, so that's just one thing. But you could actually see that, you know, you could literally get this for very, very cheap, like disposable mask. Something that's disposable mask you could like use for like three cents, four cents, 11 cents. These are like ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. You can see some of these, you know, they're selling them for like, you know, a lot more, right? Like look at this, $9, but you could see that it's literally nothing. 
like nothing compared to actually the cost when you go to like alibaba.com, right? What I would like doing, like if I was gonna go ahead and sell this, is I would go ahead and see why is this doing really well? You can see this one, they are, um, you know, targeting boys, girls, outdoor school, mask, children's, right? So you could see exactly why it's doing really well, right? Well, what I would like doing is going into here and seeing what they do not like about it. Like this, terrible ear loops, keep breaking, waste of money. Every time my kids go to wear these, strings tear off the mask. So what would I do? Maybe I would create something similar in the kid niche, but just make it better, right? Just make it better. What if I created the exact same thing and model something like this with rainbows and different designs, but instead I do like indestructible ear loops, like indestructible ear loops, right? That's like a big pain point that you know they're talking about. Now when people wanna go ahead and buy another solution, they're gonna go and get that. Does that make sense? Like I said, I would have never known that if I didn't look at the negative reviews, which is the first step, right? The next step that I like doing is going to a site like AliExpress.com. And the reason why I like doing this is you could find other product ideas as well that are also doing really well in e-commerce. Like I could come in here and type in something like jewelry and watches and uh, like, for example, do something like trendy earrings, right? This is just like a, a completely different example. I can sort everything by orders. Why? Because if a lot of people are buying this right now, then there's high demand. And notice I see this, butterfly earrings. Look at this, this is very, very cheap. Let's actually look at the real price of this. You can see that the real price of these butterfly earrings are very, very, very cheap. What is this? Yeah, like it's literally like pennies on the dollar and you can even like talk to them. They have all these different designs, right? And as you can see, they've sold 27,000 orders. So you could see that, okay, this is probably a good thing. Butterfly earrings, right? You could go into Alibaba, same thing. Butterfly earrings. And you could get like a manufacturer in bulk to go ahead and sell this. Look at this. Um, some of these are like a dollar, one dollar, one dollar. There's so many different butterfly earrings. But if I go to Amazon, let's see if it's less competitive. Butterfly earrings for women. You can see some of these butterfly earrings for women, you know, some are doing well, like thousands of things, but some are on the first page and they have even no reviews, right? So they're making money. You can see this one only has 85 reviews. So it's not as competitive, right? Because even though you have thousands, there's some that only get like 39 reviews, 47 reviews. You know, like this is a non-competitive product. Look at this, 39 reviews, 19.99. And you can get something similar like this, you know, on Alibaba for like 25 cents. You know, a dollar, 82 cents, there's so many different things, right? Another place that I like doing for product research is uh, watchcount.com. If you scroll down, they'll literally show you what's the most popular on eBay. And that's when I realized that, oh my God, like look at this, this boho jewelry necklace does really well. Um, what else does really well? You can see turquoise heart necklace. Look at this, turquoise heart necklace, right? 5,000 watchers. Let's see what's the competition right now. Turquoise. Turquoise heart necklace. Let's see how other ones are doing. Look at this, 33 reviews, 33 reviews, 163 reviews. There's not that much, got nine reviews and it's up here, right? So do you see why you could literally get ideas from other platforms and then just double check them on Amazon. If there's not a lot of reviews, but there's people searching for it, you could seriously make like a good amount of cash on the side, right? So that actually leads us to the next step. And you're like, okay, now I have the product. What do I actually go ahead and need to do? Well, like I said, you need to go and buy the product, right? So the best place that you could go ahead and buy it is like Alibaba. Now, what you need to do though, is make sure that you chat now and see if you could get a sample. You wanna make sure it's high quality because if you ship it to Amazon and it's not high quality and there's a bunch of returns, you literally wasted a lot of time, right? Because some of these shipments and testing and, and throwing into Amazon could take several months before you could even you know, get a dollar back in your investment. And remember, we want this to be the lowest risk for you as possible so that you're not like me, like a complete idiot like me that just bought thousands of dollars worth of dog leashes where no one actually went and bought it. Does it make sense? So you wanna go and chat with them. Like, hey, can we order some samples? They're gonna send you some samples, right? And then after they send you some samples, you're like, okay, this isn't it. So you go ahead and find another supplier. You go back in the product research phase. Remember, that's 90% of the battle. The moment you have a good product up and ready, the next thing that you need to do is focus on how can I create a listing just like this. Now, this is less competitive than, for example, Grill Mac. You can see Grillmet now, it's not necessarily a good thing because some of these people had thousands of reviews. It's probably not good for beginners to get started with, but you can model 
When they're that competitive, what are they doing that you know these lesser competitive niches aren't doing? And you could see that this listing is super optimized from like, for example, um, the wording to all of these things. But what you can do, you can decide to do this all yourself and we have a bunch of tutorials in this below, but you can literally go to a place, for example, like upwork.com and hire someone to go ahead and do this for you from the Philippines, right? Like look at this, if I type in Amazon listing, you don't need to have even any experience whatsoever. If you go down to, for example, a place like the Philippines, and then you do hourly rate less than $10 an hour and below, you could see some of these people will literally work $5 an hour, 20K earned, 99% job success, top rated, and they're literally a specialist for not just Amazon, but eBay, Etsy, Shopify, and all of these things. So you could literally hire someone like this for $5 an hour, have them you know, create this for you, which is a simple text right there, some text right here, have them do all the research, and just like that, you can focus on your product research because that's 99% of the battle, guys. Now, the next step you're gonna ask yourself is how can you know, how, what are some scaling strategies? Well, well, there's multiple different ways. The first way is just understanding that you literally need to beg for reviews. Like Amazon is a game of like who could get the best quality reviews. Um, so I remember when I was first getting started in grill mats, I was like begging my aunts, my uncle, my girlfriends, mom and dad, you know, uh, my neighbors to literally get this product in Amazon and leave us a review. Like you wanna to get to the point where you're getting 25 to 30 reviews, so that's literally the hardest work in my opinion when I first got started. Like getting for those reviews, getting on top of my aunts and uncles like yo, you forgot leaving a review, can you go ahead and support me? Like I am your favorite nephew and niece and whatnot, right? So like this is what you gotta do as well. Like I know it's, it's not like the sexiest thing, but you're gonna to have to do that. The next thing is tapping in to launching the product. Because the thing about Amazon is, it's weird. It's like, what came first, the chicken or the egg? What comes first? You know, reviews or ranking on this and getting sales? Well, it's the exact same thing. You won't rank on here if you get zero views. I mean, yeah, you could go ahead and, for example, run sponsored ads, but that takes money. So it's a more creative way. You launch it off platform, right? Like, for example, why do you think, uh, let's just do bulletproof coffee. Why do you think Bulletproof does so well on Amazon? It's because when they launch it, they're not launching on Amazon. They're launching it on other platforms like Instagram and YouTube and whatnot. Like if I wanted to go and sell, for example, like cat supplements, look at this, cat supplements and vitamins, right? Very interesting niche. Look at this, 55, 3,120, all these things, awesome, right? I could simply go to, for example, Google, type in um, cat supplement, private label supplier and just like that I found you know private labels organic cat supplements I could literally go ahead and now create my own cat supplement thing just by googling whatever and then private label uh, supplier look at this these people will go ahead and create like private label things for your cat I found that in like seconds right um, what I would then do is I would literally go to for example like a YouTube and then type in something like cat tips and I would like just hire these influencers for dirt cheap because some of these people get 600,000 views and only 4,000 subscribers. I would literally pay them, hey, can you make a video about my cat su supplement, right? Like, just make a video. Best cat supplements for, for people that love their cats. If that blows up, imagine 600,000 visitors now seeing your supplement. And because she only has 4,000 subscribers, she's not making any money. She would be happy to do it for even like 50 bucks or 100 bucks, right? And you could see that could literally launch your Amazon business just like that and get the marketing and then get the reviews and then you could start ranking for this keyword. Does that make sense, guys? But this could be pretty much complicated. There's even faster and easier ways to make money online that's brand new this year where we literally have people go from $10 a day to $100 a day to $1,000 a day or more. All you gotta do is just sign up for this week's free workshop where we are finally revealing what that is as well as how a 62 year old woman went from zero to $160,000 in 90 days. So sign up for the free workshop below. So check my podcast of all these really successful people that live here in Bali. Like this 11 year old girl that turned out $30 million and this guy makes a billion dollars from profit. Check it out right here and here. I hope it helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!